Cool. Hello. Welcome to the uh, medcenter.com. Uh, we want to spend a few minutes in this video uh, looking at a problem which came out in the recent sitting of the CIE exams, the Further Maths paper, paper 1, October, November 2014. Uh, the subject code is, as you can see on the board, 9231-11. And the question is question number 2. We want to talk about the question, we want to talk about the general ideas surrounding the question and see how we get to the solution. Okay, a curve C has parametric equations x equals to e to the power of t cos t and y equals to e to the power of t sin t for values of t between 0 and pi over 2. We are asked to find the arc length of C. Okay, the main idea. Okay, we will be using uh, ds dt, all things squared, will be dx dt, all things squared, plus dy dt, all things squared. Now, those of you who are keen on how we arrive at this, it starts from uh, a small portion of the curve ds. Okay, uh, let me make a remark here. We start by writing ds squared equals to dx squared plus dy squared, and then we divide throughout by dt squared, and then we arrive at this. So this, if you like to know more about this, we can have another video on that. So let's start here. Therefore, ds dt will be equals to the square root of dx dt whole thing squared plus dy dt whole thing squared. Remember we are trying to find the arc length. Yeah? So let's write ds equals dx dt whole thing squared plus dy dt whole thing squared. Bring the dt up this is what we're going to have. So now we know we can introduce the integration symbol. Okay, so in your exam, uh, you can start here. Okay, when you start writing a solution in the exam, you start here. Okay, so this will give you your arc length. Okay, and uh, let's plug in some limits. The values of t go from 0 to pi over 2. And we have dx dt whole thing squared plus dy dt whole thing squared dt. Okay? Now, what we need to do is find dx dt, find dy dt, square them, yeah, place them in a bracket excuse me, place them in a square root symbol and see what comes out of it. So let's get started. So let's write here. x equals to e to the power of t cos t. We can write dx dt. Use the uv, the product rule. We have e to the power of t, first term. When you differentiate cos t, you will get negative sine t plus. Write down the second term which is cos t, differentiate e to the power of t, you'll get e to the power of t. Okay? So, let's write this with e to the power of t outside. We will have cos t minus sine t. Okay? Good. Now, we need dx dt holding squared. So, let's do that here. Okay, let's square it. So we will get, let me write one more line here, so everyone can follow. Okay, good. So e to the power of t, when you square it, it becomes e to the power of 
2t. And then cos t minus sine t whole thing squared, you can write it as cos squared t plus sine squared t minus 2 cos t sine t. Okay, all I'm doing is I'm squaring this and I'm squaring this separately. So now we can see this is e to the power of 2t, 1 minus 2 sine t cos t. Okay, let's write it down here. I have dx dt, whole thing squared will be e to the power of 2t, 1 minus 2 sine t cos t. So now I need to work out dy dt. So let's do the same thing. Uh, now that we have the answer for dx dt whole thing squared, uh, let's go ahead and erase this. We don't need that. Okay, I will erase the things that we don't need. Now let's write y equals to e to the power of t sine t. Let's do the same thing. Now we can do it a little bit faster. dy dt e to the power of t. Differentiate sine t, you'll get cos t. Then write down sine t. Differentiate e to the power of t, we get e to the power of t. Good. So this will be e to the power of t. We have cos t plus. So now let's square it. So dy dt whole thing squared will be e to the power of 2t cos squared t plus sine squared t plus 2 sine t cos t. So now we can write this as e to the power of 2t cos squared t plus sine squared t is 1. We can write plus 2 sine t cos t. So let's write it down here. dy dt whole thing squared will be e to the power of t 1 plus 2 sine t cos t. Okay, everything looks good. Now let's just import what we have into the formula that we have here. So let me erase this. Okay. So arc length is what we're trying to find. Okay, as you can see. Okay, the arc length of C that will be equals to t going from 0 to pi over 2. Let's write the square root symbol. dx dt whole thing squared, I have e to the power of t, 1 minus 2 sine t cos t. Okay, let me just extend this. Plus e to the power of t, 1 plus 2 sine t cos t dt. Okay, so this is dx dt holding squared. This is dy dt holding squared. Now we need to clean this up. Okay, so we have minus 2 sine t cos t. We have plus 2 sine t cos t. We can get rid of that. Yeah, okay, you can do the algebra pretty easy. So what we have in square root symbols here is let's write it down. I have e to the power of t plus, excuse me, e to the power of 2t plus e to the power of 2t. So I'm having e to the power of 2t. Okay? e to the power of 2t plus e to the power of 2t will be 2e to the power of 2t. So let's write it here. We have 0 to pi over 2. Let's take out this 2 here, which will be the square root of 2, e to the power of t dt. Let me write that again. This t, yeah? d, t. Okay? This 2, the square of 2, I just took it out. e to the power of 2t, when you square root it, okay? e to the power of 2t, when you square root it, you will get e to the power of t. That's what you see here. Now, this is simple integration. Okay? Let's do that. Let me leave the square root of 2 outside. I have e to the power of t. When I integrate e to the power of t, I'll get e to the power of t. And then I have pi over 2 and a 0. 
So let's finish writing our answer. The square root 2 is outside. Plug in pi out 2. Okay. And then you plug in your 0. e to the power of 0 is 1. And we are done.